Now, the rise in COVID cases has caused some schools here at home to adjust their reopening plans as well. 17's Perla Shaheen tells us exactly what they're doing here at home to keep students safe. She joins us live tonight from Bakersfield Christian High School in Southwest Bakersfield. Good evening, Perla. It was only a few weeks ago when students returned on campus here at BCHS. Cases were low and people were excited for in-person learning. Now schools like BCHS and others in the county have to reevaluate and slow down the virus. Kern County is back in the more restrictive purple tier. The rise in COVID numbers is alarming for schools that have already reopened, but it doesn't mean that they're required to shut down again. Schools that have reopened to some degree will be allowed to stay open. Uh, for the schools that, that have not yet reopened, uh, now that we're back in the purple tier, they will not be able to reopen until we get back to the red tier and stay there for two weeks. The tier change doesn't necessarily impact schools that have already reopened, but that doesn't mean that they're not reconsidering. Each school has a very robust um, COVID-19 mitigation plans that includes all of the strategies that we've been talking about for months and months that will help uh, ensure that uh, the spread on campuses is limited. When Kern moved into the red tier, Bakersfield Christian High School reopened to most students. Hundreds returned to campus at the end of October, hopeful for in-person learning. Now that same campus is deserted. BCHS President John Bousteau decided on Monday to revert back to online learning. He says he hopes students can return on November 30th. We think that the best way to get ahead of this is to pause. We're not closing, we're pausing, hoping that that reset um, kind of clears the campus of COVID per se. After only a few weeks of in-person learning, a handful of students got the coronavirus. California schools are required to shut down if 5% of students test positive for COVID. At BCHS, that number was only slightly over 1%, but the school still wanted to put everything on pause. And with this Thanksgiving break coming up and putting our students and parents health first, it really seemed like a no-brainer. Kern has 47 school districts, each with its own reopening plan. Here's an overview of what some districts have decided to do. Most are bringing students back in phases, starting with disabled and homeless student populations. The exact dates of rolling out each phase have changed over time depending on COVID numbers. Outside of state requirements, the schools can decide how they want to reopen. The health of thousands of children are in their hands. In Bakersfield, Perla Shaheen, 17 News.